Hey guys, so today we're going to configure a network printer and now I'm going to do this on my on one server. So just to show you what I have, my lab consists of a domain controller, it's a Windows Server 2019 standard, and I have two workstations that are Windows 10, and I have a Red Hat 8 that's later going to be my Splunk server. So how we're going to do this first is we're going to add the roles, we're going to jump right into it. Add roles and features. Next. Click next. We're going to add print and document services. Add features. Click next. Click next. Next. And make sure print server is selected. Click next. And click install. And this should take a minute. So I'm doing this on the VMware workstation. I don't have Pro, so. What I've done it already is I've configured my network printer with IP address of 192.168.0.2. So if you have a network printer at home, you can manually assign it an IP address. So I suggest you do that first. And now this role has been complete. Now, now I'm going to go to print services. Double check it's here. I'm going to go to print management. And I'm also going to pull the drivers for whatever model printer you have. So I have a HP HP printer. It's a multi-functioning printer, M182N. And the drivers you want to pull are these universal ones. So all you need to do is download this one that says PCL6. So if you have HP, look for the universal one. And then also download the firmware. since just in case there's vulnerabilities that you want to address. So the first thing we need to do is add a port. So my IP address scheme again, I have Ethernet 192.168.0.1, that's my domain control address, and my Ethernet, my NIC 0, that's going to be a, a dot .2. So, so I went ahead to install the drivers already. So here are the drivers here. I have un I didn't un unzip it yet, so we'll do that now. And oh, forgot to create a folder. I'm gonna create a folder. I'm gonna name it the same thing. Then I'm gonna copy this UNC path so we can unzip the folder in here. Now let's go back to HP. And this is just to unzip all the files, all those INO files in this folder that I just created. We're going to unzip. And we'll be using this later. So we're not going to do this install right here because we're going to install on the server. So now we'll go back to print management. And the first thing we'll do is add a port. This is going to be a standard TCP IP port. Click next. And I'm going to set it. 192.168.0.2 So this address is also the same IPv4 address on my network printer that I manually assigned. It's a class C. I'm going to click close. For drivers, we're going to add the drivers that I just unzipped. So click, right click it, add drivers, click next. Is this, it's a 64-bit. Now we're going to select have disk and you're going to browse to the INF files. So I did this earlier to practice. You're going to go to print drivers. I create this folder and now you can select any of these setup and INF files. I just select the last one. doesn't really matter. And we're going to select PCL6. Click next. Then we're going to click finish. And this could take a minute. And after we configure this part, we're also going to deploy this GPL to all the workstations that I have. So I have two workstations. And now the next step is after you've done those two, we're going to add the printer here. And in this first wizard, you're going to select that IP port that we've created, 0.2. So whatever your address is, select that one. And then we're going to select this PCL6. 
So this should be whatever driver you just created on the other menu. So click next. And this is whatever you want to name the printer. So my domain is highlight.com. I just made it up. So I'm going to name it high printer. And now I'm going to copy. I'm going to create the same location. Uh, we'll make it virtual printer. Virtual printer. Since it's on my VMware. No comments. Next. Next. Now it's going to install the printer. This could take a while. And while I do that. So another thing you also want to stage is open up group policy management. We're going to do a we're going to print a test page since this finally finished installing. And as you can hear, my printer is printing the configuration page. I'm going to close this. So another thing you want to do here on this menu, right click the printer you just created, go to properties, we're going to, we're going to check the share settings, and we want to list it in the directory, click apply, OK. And now go back to the group policy management. So now we're going to create a GPO. So here's my OU structure. So I have my Windows 10 machine. Let me just show you guys. Okay, this is my structure. So I have my domain highlight.com, and here's my all my equipment, my servers, and here's my Windows, my two Windows 10 hosts. And we're gonna link the GPO in this OU. So we're gonna go back to Group Policy Management. We're gonna right click. We're gonna click New. We're gonna name it Deploy Network printer GPO now we're going to go back to this OU Windows 10 machine and I'm going to link that GPO I just created so deploy network printer GPO All right, let's just double check so as you can see I didn't make any changes yet so the next part is pretty easy so now we're going to right click the printer and we're going to deploy with group policy and we're going to select that group policy I just made and we again we didn't edit it, anything we're just going to select it so I'm going to drill down into it and deploy network GPO and if you want to select user you can but I'm going to put it for all my machines so anytime somebody uh, logs in the machine itself is going to have this printer. So I'm going to add it. Click apply. OK. OK. Now, here's my Windows. Windows host. This is my workstation 2. As you can see, it's not there yet. So you can run a GP update for us, but I'm just going to reboot it real quick. Here, I'm going to bring it up. I'm signed in. Let's see who am I? What's the name? This is the workstation 2. We're going to go to control panel and we're going to view devices and printers. And here it is the high printer. We're going to set as default. And we're going to let's do a test page. And as you can hear, it's printing out a config page. And that's it. So if you don't see this here, try logging off and logging back in. You could also do a GP update. Or you could just reboot your machines. Sometimes there could be f firewall issues. So give that a shot. Enjoy.